Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to be doing an experiment. I wanted to see what paint has the best coverage. And I'm gonna be testing the best paints from Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, and Fair. So we have a Sherwin-Williams Emerald. We also got Sherwin-Williams Duration just to see if one of those covers better. Those are their two best paints. Bear Marquee. And last but not least, we got Benjamin Moore's Aura. What prompted me to do this experiment was Bear claims their Marquee paint will cover in one coat. So I looked into that and I found there is actually a catch with that. It'll only cover in one coat with Bear Marquee colors. There actually, there's a plethora of colors, but relative to a normal paint that can be made in, you know, hundreds and hundreds of colors, it is a lot more narrow, and there's a lot of colors that won't cover in one coat, according to Bear Marquee. So I went and I looked at some of these colors, and from doing some painting, I know, you know, reds and yellows are the hardest to cover. When I looked at yellows, there really wasn't a lot of yellows that they could get one coat coverage with. I did pick one up, and I also wanted to try out a really bright blue, because I know bright blues, greens, really rich, bright colors are hard to cover. We got these colors, in Emerald, Marquee, and Benjamin Moore's Aura, and we're gonna be putting them up on these squares, letting them dry, and see which one covers best. Then, to take it even a step further, because the undercolor has a lot to do with how well it covers, we're gonna paint over those colors. So we're gonna paint, you know, red over yellow, or red over blue, with the different paints and see if we can still get one quote coverage. In Benjamin Moore and Sherwin's defense, these are bare marquee colors. So perhaps if I used a color that wasn't, you know, one coat coverage approved by Bear, they would perform more similar. What was really interesting was we asked Sherwin Williams to make this blue and they said that they could not do it for the emerald. So I imagine there's some kind of pigments within the marquee that's different than the other paints that's giving them that one coat coverage and that actually allows them to make some colors that at least Sherwin Williams was unable to make. I did look these paints up on Consumer Reports, and I was really surprised at what I found. First of all, the Bear Marquee was the cheapest of the bunch, and not by a little, but by a lot. So if you really could get one coat coverage, you would be saving a ton of money not only in using less paint, but it was just cheaper in general. Furthermore, I was really surprised that it was the best at resisting staining. So not only are you saving time on painting, but according to Consumer Reports, it was also the best for staining. Let's see if we get the same results that Consumer Reports did when we test this live here today in real life. So we're just gonna get right into painting. I got my buddy Edgar here, he's gonna help me do some of the painting. We got each square labeled ready to go. We're gonna try out the different paints. We're using this roller nap, four inch mini roller, half inch nap. Um, we're putting the same nap on every single roller. Gonna try to keep everything as consistent as possible. Edgar is gonna try to paint each square the exact same way, not trying to put more paint on one and less on the other, just to get a real idea of what's gonna happen. I honestly have no idea. I would suspect, you know, Emerald and Aura to do really well just because they're super expensive and people usually say good things about it. Um, I did get one color in the duration because I have heard painters claim that duration is a little bit better than Emerald in terms of coverage at least. So we're gonna try that out. So Edgar's gonna start painting and I'll just show you how we're gonna do it. Start. Yeah, you're good. So this is, you can see up there, Duration in Red by Sherwin Williams. And it looks to be covering really well. But if you know anything about painting, it always goes on wet, looks really well, but it's when it's dry is the true test. So, gonna do our best. We're human, we're not perfect. The paint each square the exact same. All right, now this is the emerald in the same color of red. Now we're doing the bare marquee. And 
And last but not least is the Aura from Benjamin Moore. All right, we're gonna continue painting. I'm sure you don't wanna just watch people paint and hear me talk, so we'll fast forward this, put the camera on the tripod. And as I said before, Sherman Williams was unable to make the blue color. So on these two squares here, we're gonna be comparing the Bear Marquee blue to the Aura blue, and the bottom three are gonna be yellow and emerald, Marquee, and Aura. I only got one quart of the duration just because it isn't their top tier paint, it's the second of the top tier, just to make sure for those painters out there that think duration covers better, we'll be able to see if there is a difference between the emerald and the duration, and just get to the bottom of it. All right, so you can see we've painted all nine squares, got all our paints down here, and the four reds is duration, emerald, marquee, Aura, the two blues is Marquis and Aura. Sean Williams could not make that blue is why we're only doing two. And then the three yellows is Emerald, Marquis, and Aura. So we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back and see the results. All right, the paints have all dried now and the results are in. So let's just read them right from left. This is Duration in the red color and it didn't cover. A client would definitely not be happy if if that's how you left it. Um, here is the emerald. And I would say the emerald did cover a little bit better than the duration, which is to be expected. But, you know, I know the camera doesn't do justice, but it's definitely not full coverage. You can definitely see the paint through and a client would definitely not let that fly. Now, the marquee, was really surprising, completely covered. I don't see any light spots. And that would, in my opinion, definitely fly if a homeowner saw that. You, there's nothing to complain about. There's the emerald again. There's the marquee. Now let's jump over to the aura from Benjamin Moore. And ah, this camera really just doesn't pick it up. Maybe if I zoom in from back out, there is uh, some light spots. You can definitely see the under color shining through. However, I think the Aura covered better than both Sherwin-Williams paints, which is interesting. Not by much. You're definitely going to have to put on two coats regardless, but there's a wider view of them all. I would say Marquis did the best, then Aura, then Emerald, then Duration. Now let's jump over to this blue, very bright blue. And again, Sherman Williams could not make this color, but Benjamin Moore could. And here's the Marquis. There is no light spots. It is 100% coverage and looks great. The Aura, again, it did pretty good. And I know you can't really pick it up with the camera, but there's definitely light spots. You can definitely see through it a bit and it would not fly with a homeowner, but it's very impressive. But definitely Marquee looks a lot better. And what was really surprising was the yellows, all three paints covered in one coat, which from painting, yellow is usually a hard color to cover. So I'm guessing I should have got a different color yellow. Marquee does make over a thousand different colors. So I could test this again but usually yellow is really hard to cover. Maybe it's because of the gray background, it was just easy. But emerald looks great. One coat covered. I don't see any light spots. The marquee, same. Excuse the drywall. The homeowner who lived here before me finished the basement himself and obviously wasn't a drywaller. The texture, I don't know if you've noticed that, but the Aura, yeah, looks 100% coverage to me. I don't see any light spots coming through. So, yeah, no. All right, so we're gonna see, since all three yellows covered and they covered great, we're gonna see 
will they cover a red background? And we're gonna be putting the emerald over the emerald. If anything, since that red, you could argue is less red than the marquee, it should be easier. But we're gonna see, will this yellow cover a red background? So this, what we're putting on right now is the emerald. And then we're gonna put the marquee yellow over the red and the aura yellow over the red. Yeah, the marquee. Another test I could run, I suspect the marquee is covering great, but I bet you don't get it. I think on the can it says 300 to 400 square foot per gallon. I imagine since it's so thick, it probably doesn't go that far, but that should probably be our next test. If you wanna see some other testing, leave it. Tell us in the comments what you'd like to see, and we'll do an experiment and see how this goes. I know personally, I wanna try out a, a lighter yellow because I was really shocked that all three yellows covered and just was not expecting that. So now we're putting the aura over the red. And we decided since it's such a small area and it's a thick nap, we're just doing one dip and we're painting from the left to the right. So if anything, the right hand side should be the least amount of paint but really, it's such a small area, I would argue it's, it's the same coverage all the way around. And even if you like notice when I was looking at like the blue, the left side and the right side were, as, were equally light. So now we're gonna let this dry and we will see which one covered the best. Be back in a flash. So Edgar and I were standing there watching the yellow paint dry and realized we might as well put more paint on the wall since if we wanna do any more testing, it's gonna take a while for it to dry. I forgot to turn on the mic on my camera, so I'm doing a voiceover, but we were thinking to ourselves, okay, the marquee seems to be covering, the blue covered over this gray background, but what if we were to put the blue over a red background? Would it still be able to cover in one coat? So right now you can see him applying the blue marquee paint over the red background. That was the red we did in duration and we're gonna let that dry and see what happens. We also wanted to do the reverse and see, okay, we've got a completely blue background that we made with the bare marquee. If we take the red paint and paint over that blue background with one coat, how is it gonna look? Is it actually gonna cover? Because when it comes to painting, it's not always just how well the paint covers with a certain color, it, a lot of it has to do with the background and how well it's gonna cover over the background. All right, when it came to the yellow, covering the red for Emerald Sherman Williams, it did not cover. There's still a lot of bleed through on the red. When it came to the yellow from Bear Marquis, it was amazing at 100% coverage, looks great. When it came to the Aura, it was better than the emerald but still see bleed through happening and then we painted the red over the blue we had full coverage on the blue painted the red over the blue and to my astonishment full coverage looks great almost can't believe it same when we painted the blue bare marquee over that red duration that we painted and 100 percent coverage no bleed through again i almost can't believe it so the bear marquee and the benjamin moore aura seem to outperform the emerald but by far without a doubt the bear marquee had the best coverage hands down no matter which combination we tried the bear marquee covered in one coat and the only color was the yellow over the gray was where we got coverage in one coat from emerald and aura but as soon as we tried to cover the yellow over the red, it no longer got coverage in one coat where the bare marquee actually did. So let us know in the comments if you wanna see some other videos. Let us know if you were as surprised as we were. I always just thought bare was gonna be the worst cause that's what I hear from my painters and stuff, but at least the marquee, I don't know how it performs on other areas, but in terms of coverage, it's definitely the best of the bunch.
But that one looks good, man. I know. <laughs> that one looks good. My first one. Once, once I, I, even when I put it on, I was like, that's really cool. Because look at this one, it's like, yeah. this one is, is kind of yeah, I know. too close, but, and then it gets better, but this one right here. Yeah. I think it's even better than this one. Yeah. Well, we'll see when they dry, right? 